these guys have found some really interesting cars. There must be some cool barns here in Kansas. These are pretty rare. Wow! Hi, I'm Dennis Gage and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week, we're at McPherson College in McPherson, Kansas for their annual car show. McPherson's a four-year liberal arts school that has an automotive restoration program that's unlike anything, anywhere. It's unbelievable, and the kids come out of here with skills you can't believe. You'll see it in some of these cars today. Let's check these babies out. Very cushy, cushy velour. Bella, yes, sir. Sam. <laughs> Hello. Wow. So you guys, you guys are the co-chairs of the show this year. Yes, we are. Yeah, which is probably why it's running so well. Right? Really, <laughs> That's I mean, what we heard, I yeah. know it's. Been, I'm hearing that from a lot of people. It really is running well, of course. Yeah. But two women in charge. It's going to work really, really well. You guys are both students. You're yes, sir. Senior, you're junior. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, this is a great show. Was, uh, you, you guys really put on a nice show, and, and you hit a record today. Eh? Mm -hmm. yes. Four hundred cars. That's and that's that's a lot of cars here. Some cool motorcycles too, by the way. Yes. Beautiful bike over here. Beautiful. But the program here is what I think is so cool. I've been associated uh, with McPherson for about 20 years and I've kind of watched the, the thing grow and develop and it's just amazing now. It is one of a kind, fantastic. Yeah, it's just so you guys amazing. are coming out with a four year degree, yes. but then with the specialty in, in AR, in automotive restoration, yes. right? What I found is uh, you got students, well, like you guys, I mean, you're from all over. Yes. Yeah, we pull a lot of kids from the coast. We pull a lot of kids from Kansas too, but we just have everybody. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah. You would recommend it as a program. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> if I had to choose it again, I definitely would. Yeah. This car show too has grown incredibly over the years. I yes. remember one of the first ones they did, and there's a few cars. There's 400 cars here. Yes. Yeah. And some really, really interesting stuff. We get a large variety of cars, which is really nice because we have so many different classes that it's not just one type of vehicle. We have classes beginning before 1927 all the way up to present. We have foreign, so it's just a really big array of vehicles, and it's nice. You get to see. A a lot. It's great. Honestly, my one of my favorite areas is, is the student area because it's all these uh, works in progress. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> um, well loved. <laughs> they, are well loved. Uh, they are really unique, and students bring their own projects. They yeah. work on them. Well, it's a cool college, a cool program, killer show. Let's go look at some of these student cars. What do you Fantastic. say? All right, let's, let's go. go. Let's do it. Well, Adam, I, uh, I saw this at SEMA, mm -hmm. and, and uh, it blew me away. And you know, to get blown away by a car at SEMA takes quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 29 Model A, right? Model A, sort of. Sort yes. of. <laughs> yes, yeah. This car is probably 95% built from scratch. There's very little original Model A uh -huh. left to this. The inner door skins and a little bit of the window surrounds, everything else is built from scratch. We machine the headlight buckets themselves. The headlight bucket doubles as the shock mount on I this I was going to say, uh, that's the shock, right? Yes. So this is one of the strongest portions of the car right there on the back side of the uh, headlight. Of the headlight, mm -hmm. which is normally kind of... Yeah. That is unbelievable. You're a McPherson grad. Yes. What year? 2004. Yeah. You, got, you know, this, this place turns out some real craftsmen. Awesome. Awesome. So, the windshield caught my eye. Mm -hmm. How much of that is Model A? It's completely redone. I made a die for our Polmax machine to stamp yeah. this little reveal in here. Yeah. All of these components, the window surround, I fabricated all of those pieces. The cowl vent is all made from scratch, the grill and everything in there. And then it's got kind of a crown shaped knob inside that controls the plenum. <laughs> inside so it's a functional caliber. It's just, it's stunning. What's the engine? It's, it's small block GM, yeah. but it's all aluminum, vanilla built small block. We machine the valve covers to fit that block so that they look a little bit like a Y block yeah. uh, valve cover. Yeah. The steering setup is great mm -hmm. too, and, and just detailed unbelievably. Yeah, and this, this was to solve a problem with bump steer. We have a power steering box inside the car. We came up with this bell crank and drag link setup so that we could keep that box high enough that it wasn't between your feet right. and still keep our ratio the same so we get the wheels still locked to lock. So the chop on it and the rake is just unbelievable. It's cartoonish. It is almost. it is almost cartoonish, <laughs> yeah. The interior though is stunning. 
Hearst shifter, matte finish dash, I like that. Yes, and we actually use the same color as the body, but it's matte finish, and this is the same color as the insert on the roof. Tilt wheel, very yep. subtle yep. tilt wheel. Love the instrumentation and the center orientation. Yep, 49 Hudson gauges, and then I, I made the rest of the dash. And the door panels, oh, it is stunning. And then I noticed early on, I mean, she's got a quick change back here. Yep, it's original Halibrand <laughs> quick change with all Winter's internals on it. And this is a stock Model A feature, right? It's got a filler right in the middle here and a little charge port because the batteries are hidden in the back. And the rear windows power so you can have a little ventilation without the side windows of, down. Of course it does. It is just absolutely stunning. Adam, <laughs> thanks a lot, man. Thank you, Dennis. Wow, I am impressed. Thanks. Richard, great to see you, man. Um, th this, is, this is cool. Uh, you always have, you and your brother both have just amazing cars, but this pair, and it is a pair with a relationship are about as unlikely a pair as you could imagine. I saw you roll in with this, and mm -hmm. uh, even from afar, it caught my eye. It's an interesting shape. It's an MG. MG 1100 Sports Sedan. 12-inch wheels or something? Yes, 12-inch wheels. The defining feature of it, other than the pin and farina design, is the hydroelastic suspension. Rubber bags full of water and antifreeze. They called it liquid suspension, right? Right. Right. And they were, that was all to kind of dampen some of the short wheelbase hop and bounce. That you yeah, that these? was to, to make the front and rear is, are connected on each side. Yeah. So it makes it act like the wheelbase is about 50% longer than it is. It's a cute design. Again, it, it caught my eye coming in because it's so, so boxy, but I like the little baby fins. The engine, though, on this is, is kind of, it's a pretty healthy little engine. This is, again, like the Mini, the transverse engine, front wheel drive, new old stock cast iron cross flow head with the Webers and the cam and so on. We're probably pushing 100 horsepower instead of 55. Ooh, so it, gets, it gets, <laughs> gets up and gets going. Can yeah. you see any of that suspension from here? Yes. Is that what I'm looking at here? That right here. Yeah. And this is the hose that goes to connect to the rear. Now, if I bounce that, I don't oh, know if you can, can see, see it, a little it kind bit of motion right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of. And then and it's full of water, and then is there a little diaphragm, a, a critical orifice that changes the flow? That's exactly right. I, we ah. can show, show, see that easier on the well, IndyCar. So let's, so let's do, it's that suspension that relates these two cars, right? Yes, they, they built this car to help promote the sale of the little sedan. They, they built this car to sell that car. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay, this all here is full of water, antifreeze mixture, right? Yes. And then it can flow in and out based on that little orifice. Right. And that's what gives you yeah, your dampening. From, from this end to that end. So Amazing. And then but on the cars, we've got the interconnecting pipes that this the Indy car does not have. Oh, over there, the front and back talk to each other. Here's, yeah. They're, in, they're isolated. They're independent. So um, what's the engine on? It's a little... It's a 255 Offenhauser. Okay. Did you ever see this race? Yes, I did. Oh, really? Like back in the day? In 1964. Oh I was goodness. at Indy, <laughs> and, and, you know, I was driving this to high school, and we got to Indy, and I saw these cars, and, oh, wow! wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, this is who I rooted for. Yeah, of course it was. Yeah. <laughs> and now you own it. Yeah. Well, so this is awesome. So we got a 67 MG 1100 Sports Sedan. Did I get that right? Correct. Wow. And, and this would be a 64, 64. with the liquid suspension. Wow, Special. what a pair. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Richard. This is awesome. <laughs> so, Jacob, you're, you're a student here at McPherson. Yes, sir, I yeah. am. And we're in the student area. Yes. Right. There must have been some really cool barns that these things came out of. Because, I mean, you, you, guys, you guys found some, some real gems. Yeah, these are a ton of these cars are just real beauties here. Yeah. Well, this one, my faves, all-time faves, is 59 Royal. Uh, and the first time I ever saw one of these was actually in England, believe it or not. And I just love this, these taillight setup. Yeah, these I know. These taillight setup's killer. They're so magnificent. Oh, it is. I love how far they stick out yeah. from the car. <laughs> it's in your face all the way. I mean, this just kills me because this is really a solid, looks pretty complete car. It is. That's, it's, I'm very impressed with how complete it is. Uh, it's... A friend of mine's car in Wichita, I'm mechanically restoring it for him because he's going to take it on a 2,000 mile road trip here in September. Wow, so it's going to look like this. It's going to look like this. But it'll be safe to drive. Yeah, it's going to drive like brand new. The interior uh, is interesting. Yeah, I mean, it was sitting in a backyard for a while, so. Have you done anything to 
to brighten up the gauges or no they're they're about how they were that's, that's one not of the, bad yeah they're not i think that's one of the next things i'm going to start working on is just getting a bunch of chrome polish in there and shining them up what a cruiser man it, is just, is... it, it just floats down the road perfectly straight as an arrow wow so would this have had a like a 318 in it no sir this is actually a 361 big block this really is, this is yeah this is the first year you could get a 361 in a dodge if it wasn't a d500 what an interesting hood too. It is. It's a. It's in great shape too. Yeah, the whole, it, thing, it, the is, whole thing is. I mean, I can't believe how solid this car is. Yeah, it really is. This is like completely untouched under here. Like exactly how we found it. You're doing all the mechanicals mm -hmm. on it. Have you checked all the compression and stuff? How are the cylinders? We have. They're all pretty really? good. Really? No they're kidding. All, they're all within about 10 pounds of each other. This is a car that I don't know that I would restore it. I love this patina. No, we all we all agree that it needs to stay how it is. It is in a perfect condition how it so is. So you're, you're what, a junior here? I'm a junior here, and yes from sir. where? Texas, Houston, Texas. Texas. And and what are you gonna do after you graduate? Uh, there's a guy back home who has a collection of four like Mopars just like this that he wants me to start helping him uh, preserve and continue to you know keep running on those. Darn ones. the luck, sounds like yeah. a terrible job. Oh, I know. It's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, this is great. 59 Dodge Royal. Yes, sir. Awesome, man. Thank you. Well, man, Michael, I saw you rolling in actually this morning, and and uh, this is a car you don't see very often. This is a 63 Galaxy, Galaxy, Galaxy right? 500. Two, two door hardtop but with a really unique roof. What do they call that? They call it the box top. It's almost like an old T-Bird roof, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Kind of much more square, but it gives it a real distinctive look. It does, it really stands out. And what a great color. Was this a stock color in 63? Yeah, this is the original color, they called it rose beige. Was it two-tone? No, it was It was all rose beige, and I added the black top to it. I didn't realize, you're actually a McPherson grad. Yeah, I graduated right? in 1989. 89, yep. from, the, from the restoration, restoration program? Yep. Mm -hmm. Thing's been going on a while, hasn't yes, it? Yes, it has. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, you exercised some of your skills on this. Did you do all the work on this? I did. I did everything on it. Well, you've uh, got it on air. It's on air ride with 18 and 20 inch wheels. Even the grill looks nice. Yeah. Did you have to do any straightening on that? I did. I did straightening on the trim and I moved the side trim around. The line is original. Yeah. It originally had an upper one that looped around oh, and I met see, it, right? and I took it off then put the little hashtag mark down at the bottom of it. That's a T-Bird wheel, a no, flyaway wheel. No, it's it's original to this car. They did this was for a, very, a Galaxy? It was a very rare option on the Galaxy. I yes. thought it was a T-Bird only. I did too when I first got the car. Looks like original interior, or stock at least. Original seats, I uh, replaced the door panels and the carpet. The rest of it's original and it's all stock. Was that a dealer installed AC? Yes, it is, yep, still this, works. Oh man, I love this. I mean, the dash looks stock, but it's flat black. Was yeah, it, it, was, it was gloss black when I got the car and uh -huh. I, I painted it matte black. Boy, I just, I love this. I can't believe those seat covers are original. <laughs> yeah. You had your trunk open earlier. Open right. that up if you would. Cause, sure. Because this thing's tubbed. I was looking at those tires, that they've got to be tubbed. But you can't, you can't hardly tell that's tubbed. Right, I tubbed it and I raised the trunk floor. That center section, that yeah. section is, it was flat across. I raised that up so the axle could come up into there. 390? It's a 390. It was a two barrel car. Uh -huh. I put off an Howitzer intake with a, a Holley four barrel. Interesting choice of color on your valve covers. I like it. Yeah. So does it uh, run really nice? It driving? runs really well. Yeah. So 63 Galaxy two door hardtop box top, box top tubbed, dropped. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank nice you. Job. Thank you. So Matt, this is a this is a car you don't see every day. A 77 yep. Pontiac Ventura, right? Yes. This is an interesting car. <laughs> yeah, you don't see them all the time. You don't see them at all anymore. And it, this wasn't one of the storied periods of GM either, really. No. <laughs> uh, Design-wise. So it's amazing to me that you've preserved this car this long. Well, my dad bought it brand new. So really? it was a labor of love. Wow. You know, family memories. It's a Pontiac, and you know it's a Pontiac because of the arrowheads everywhere. We saw this down at the cruise in last night, and, and my cameraman goes, oh, man, check this thing out. And I go, oh, yeah, OK, 77, <laughs> OK. But then I got close to it, and this, I love this interior. Now, it didn't look like that originally, did it? No, it was just an all tan pleated vinyl. Uh -huh. um, so I sewed this together in my uh, advanced upholstery class here at the college while I was a student. <laughs> so it was a project? Yes, it's I got a... class credit for this. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. How about, was the dash in that good a shape? Yeah, uh, we did a little bit of paint touch up in places, but that's yeah. the original dash pad and the original instrument cluster and all. Even the wheels, are those the, the kind of the trick wheels for this car? Yeah, those are Pontiac's own Rally 2 wheels. Yeah, so cool, man. What? Whoa. So, uh, <laughs> a it's little a, unusual. Yeah, it's a V6? Yep, it's a Buick V6, the 231 or 3.8 liter. 
From the factory? Yes. So they put a Buick engine in the Pontiac. Welcome to GM in the late 70s. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make some money somehow. Yeah. <laughs> so is that the same block as the Grand Nationals, basically? Yes, this engine later went into the Grand Nationals with turbocharging. This is so cool. What a great show. You've, so as an alum, you've seen a number of these shows, right? Yeah, this will be the fifth I've gone to. Pretty Four cool. as a student, this is my first one as an alum. How's it feel to be an alum? A little bittersweet. I miss it a lot. I see my old friends. It feels like nothing's changed. I want to come back. <laughs> exactly, but you know you can't repeat the past. No, you, you, you can't go home, you know? Yep. Okay, so 77, Pontiac Ventura, Ben in the fam from new. Yes. Matt, beautiful car, beautiful job. Pleasure to meet you, Dennis. Oh man, the show here at McPherson College has got a little bit of everything. And the college itself has got a killer automotive restoration program. You gotta check both of them out. Hi.